High revs, low feel. All right, good lads. Good lads. Long heavy loads. Welcome to Miniature Pratt Institute. This is Codwin's undertype engine. We rebuilt it. The engine we ran the plan calculation on, PLAN, mean effective cylinder pressure, length of stroke, piston area, and uh, revs per minute. Hi, I'm cycle. Braden. That's Braden. The plan equation is how you find the horsepower of a uh, reciprocating steam engine. One cylinder of the engine makes 0 0.9. It's a two-cylinder high-pressure machine, so it's about 1.8 horsepower. This is a United Switch and Signal semaphore motor. This used to drive the big, heavy arms of railroad signals up and down. I've rewired it as a self-exciting shunt-wired dynamo. We'll put a screenshot of the wiring diagram over my uh, voice there. Can I have more revs, fellas? Oh, yeah. Are you in? Yeah, yeah. turn it on. What's up? What was that good? drop? Yeah. Hey, 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 let it go. Oh, no. Are you good? Yeah. Can we have more speed, or is that all you've got? We're letting it go. That's all I got. Oh, what? Steam pressure? Yeah, but we're right. feeding for a long time. All right, what we've got, as you just saw, we've got an electric railway being powered by this. These antique trains, these standard gauge trains, have series wound motors, so they can run either on AC or DC. This, of course, is a good DC man. machine. The field of this just like an Edison dynamo. There's a big sort of letter U-shaped metal core that goes around. These are the field coils. They're both oriented in the same direction. When you put electricity in these, it makes a big magnetic field in this metal part, which is north and the south. The spinning armature being driven by the engine, when you pass that through that electromagnetic field, it excites a current in the armature. The current is picked off by the commutator brushes, these guys here, the commutator are these rotating copper bars. If it was stopped, you would see individual bars separated by insulators. The first place the current goes is to my field rheostat. That controls how intense the electromagnetic field in the machine is and how much power it produces. The next place we feed the power is to the track and uh, to our artificial load bank like this bulb here. This is a 30 volt New York City bulb. Is it still moving? Yeah. It is. All right. This is the amps that are going from the dynamo to the load, such as this light bulb when it's screwed in and the trains. This meter is the field ammeter. That shows us how much electrical current is passing through the electromagnetic field coils. And you see it go up and down when I change the rheostat setting. See that? And then the meter on top is the bus voltmeter, which shows how much voltage, how much electric potential is across the machine's commutator and how much is going to every appliance hooked up to it. So that's uh, that's the first of many electrical generation experiments that we're going to do. Good job.